Secretary Schultz, thanks again for having me here. It's an honor and privilege. I want to talk to you a little bit about where your Navy is today and why your Navy is where it is today. I'll touch on uh, some minor budget challenges, and I am a recovering budget officer, trying to get that out of my head and just lead the Navy, but you can't help yourself, right? You, you got to organize, train, and equip, and build it. And, and then the Asia-Pacific rebalance. What does it mean uh, to the Navy? And then, of course, I'd be happy to take questions in any subject you want. But talking about the Navy, you know, we have to build ships. We, we man equipment. That equipment is designed. It is uh, built, managed, if you will, there at, at the Washington Navy Yard at the Naval Sea Systems Command. Folks, I have the greatest job in the world. I get to lead 630,000 people in our Navy, 320,000 sailors who join, uh, like these folks you just saw that came up here with the flag. All they want to do is belong to something bigger than themselves and make a difference out there. They don't want money. They want a pat on the back every now and again. So if you see one, please do that. That's adrenaline for six weeks. We have about 110,000 reserves, and as I mentioned, 200,000 civilians who are very, very dedicated. The, the bureaucratic civilian you sometimes hear about, I haven't met them. I haven't met that kind of person that, that sometimes we talk about. Uh, you put the slide up, uh, just to let you know where we are in the world today. We have 285 ships you see out there in the lower right, and about, uh, about a third of them are deployed uh, out there and about in the world, and you can see the distribution out there in the little white boxes. We're increasing in the percentage of deployment. Two decades ago, it was about 25% of the fleet. Ten years ago, it was about 30% of the fleet. So we're up to about a third of the fleet out and about. And you can see the Western Pacific. We've got 53 ships out there. Uh, that's, that's our focus of effort as we move ahead. And if, if you say, well, Admiral, what do you guys do? I mean, what's your thing? I say, my job is to have ships and be forward, be present where it matters, so that when it matters, we can react. And we can do the bidding of the nation, provide the president options out there. We organize, we train, we equip sailors and Marines to, to be out there. And every time I say Navy and stuff like that today, trust me, and it's not about being at the Marine Memorial, it's about Navy and Marines. We are a, a team, we're a unit, we're a naval force out there and about. So we reassure allies, that's a big deal today, and that, that'll get you deterrence because a potential uh, aggressor sees uh, that you've got a partners out there, it works, and it works very well. We're doing quite well building our Navy up today. Our shipbuilding industry is doing amazingly well. We have over 40 ships under contract, and ships are coming in today, ships, submarines, uh, big deck amphibs, uh, littler ships, all from all around our shipbuilders are coming in on budget or under budget, on time, and the quality is improving. And the reason is we have a stable shipbuilding plan today, and they're actually starting to make some money, the partners, and we're all happy. It's all going well. But wait, there's, there's a budget. You know, there's dark clouds out here, and it's called the, the issue of sequestration and what it will mean to us.